Hi, Greg, DIY RV and Home Campers Life. Today we're taking a look at the IWAS Anderson Power Pole Connector Crimper. This is the model number AP153045. This is a ratcheting crimper that is designed specifically to crimp the Anderson Power Pole Connectors uh, from the 15, 30, and 45 amp style. I've got a set of connectors here. Now this crimper right here has a, a plastic handle. It's actually fairly comfortable. Uh, self ratcheting, so it'll lock until it is completely crimped and then release. But in the event that something does go wrong, there is a little lever in here that you can just push and it will release the system. Three different dies, one for each size, the 15, the 30, and the 45. Per the manufacturer instructions on crimping these, is you're going to take the wire on the 15 and the 30 amp connectors, insert it into the connector, and then insert it into the crimper with the face, the flat side, down. Once fully inserted, then you can go ahead and crimp all the way through and release. Your crimp should be good. Now with the 45 amp version, you're going to want to insert it into the crimper first, then place your wire in, and then crimp. I've got the 30 amp. We're going to go ahead and uh, make up a connector here I'm in the middle of a project. So I do need to take this, put an Anderson on that end right there. So let's jump into this. First things first, we're going to go ahead and cut off this end using the IWIS wire cutter strippers. These do not come with the crimpers. They're sold separately or in other kits. Go ahead and strip some of this back. And now we're going to strip the wire. And we only want to strip just enough to just barely go through the end of the barrel, the crimp section. So we'll get that done. We've got the wire strip. We've got this cover over the wire so that when we do put these together, we can slide that over. It makes it look clean, just like that right there. We're going to go ahead and put one of the connectors on. Remember, this is for the 15 and the 30 amp. You go ahead and put the wire in before you put it in the crimper. Now, with it facing down, we want to go ahead and insert this into the 30 amp slot all the way. Once all the way in, go ahead and just start crimping. All the way down, once it releases, we've got it crimped. Let's go ahead and do a good pull test on it. Make sure that it's not going to come off, which it is not coming off. Looks really good on the crimp. Let's go ahead and do the second one. Nice thing is these are unisex, so you don't have to know which one's negative or positive. You create that in the end. So we'll go ahead and put wires in. Make sure it protrudes through just slightly. And we also want to kind of try to make sure that they are equal in height, especially with this zip cord. That way you're not fighting trying to get uh, uneven connectors connected together. So now that we've got that in place, we're going to go ahead and again stick it into the 30 amp slot, the center slot. Crimp all the way through until it stops and releases. Check it. There we go. Again, nice and tight. So now let's take are red. I know which one is red. We are going to insert it into the connector with the large side down and the flat side down until it clicks. Once it clicks, it's in place. Again, we'll do that with the black. Large side down, flat side down, insert until it clicks. Once it clicks, it's in place. Now, just so I don't mess up, I'm going to take 
the one that I've already built and I'm going to connect it up and make sure that I'm putting these in the right spot. So they're going to go like that so I can pull it out. And these have a dovetail on it. All right, now that we've got them together, they actually lock really well. We can slide our protective plastic cover over them. And now, all we have to do is just match up red to red, black to black. There we go. All right, there it is. Just a quick demonstration on how to use the IWIS Anderson PowerPole Connector Crimper. This is the model number AP 